It all started off so well. They announced this big announcement over on ITV about how this show was now going to be saved. It was going to be fronted by Ben Shepard, lovely man, and of course the now American TV presenter Kat Dealey, who started out on children's television over here in the United Kingdom. Ministry of Mayhem, CD UK, you know, if you're of an age, you know what I mean. Now, they were hoping that this particular brand new pairing was going to finally draw a line under the debacle that has been for the last year and a bit this morning. And of course, the debacle keeps going on, all thanks to Philip's rather, shall we say, shady past. As ever, let me explain. You know, how are you? Nice to see you. Thank you so much for your company today. Yes, a bit of, well, it's starting to rain again, so well, I, I know I'll have to be. I'm, I'm getting on with it. Yes, I know. It's raining. <laughs> but, you know, it just starts, doesn't it? And you think, here we go, you know. Now, it's a terrible thing, really, if you've got a TV sh uh, you know, show like this morning, because you would have hoped you could have drawn a line under it, you know. You got rid of the presenter, the other one decided to move on. But, no, it's a bit of a dark horse that keeps hanging around. You see, over the last couple of days, it's been revealed that the former disgraced ITV presenter, Philip Schofield, paid a six-figure sum to the former paramour, uh, basically to shut up an NDA, non-disclosure agreement. It can never be discussed in public exactly what went on and why. Very, very sort of, um, shall we say, strange situation because of course, if he hadn't done anything too wrong, why is he not allowed to speak? But clearly Philip, who's now stepped back uh, from the limelight, has decided this is the best way to go. Selling, of course, his London flat, no doubt, to pay this thing off. But what's interesting to note is that ITV, as I say, literally last week, it trumpeted the fact they got two brand new presenters. And inside ITV Towers, they're very concerned about how this is going to play out. It looks very much a damaged brand. This is problematic for getting guests on the show, particularly big international stars coming into London. There's no two ways about it. Nobody wants to be on a show that looks to be on a downward spiral. And this is simply the case. What's also interesting is that as this morning had hoped, and perhaps thought this would now be the final moment, if you like, in the Philip Schofield debacle. Well, apparently there's a documentary being put together all about how everything fell apart, the house of cards, if you like, over that show. And when you think about it, people say, well, why is it so paramount? Well, the advertising for that would be phenomenal. And literally the presenters were on a million a year each. So a very expensive show to put together. And of course, a big cash cow, as they call it, for the channel itself. Not only that, there are three books also in production about this, apparently planning to reveal even more secrets. So if ITV felt that the sort of, shall we say, the darker clouds were over in the world of this morning, sadly, it doesn't appear to be the case. Philip Schofield, Holly Willoughby, and the golden years of this once very much loved daytime TV show are far from being out of the news. Sadly, for all the wrong reasons. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.